What's going on guys? Um, figured I'd just make a quick video because I've been struggling to edit all the prices here on Shopify. Um, and I watched a couple videos and I noticed that they didn't do something that I figured out. A lot of these guys are not doing it the fastest way possible. So to pretty much show you guys what I did, what I figured out, pretty much just open up your products. And from products, click inventory. Now, if you have a store where you're selling clothing or if you're selling jewelry, um, so if you're selling clothing, first off, to edit all of your t-shirts, you'll look up, you know, t-shirt, however you put it, or you'll put T, right? So I, I recommend if you're editing your titles, right, and you're editing all your clothing, whatever the case may be, in the title, put something that's going to group all of these items together. So if you're putting hoodies... Make sure you put hoodie in the title. If you you got crew necks, you got pants, put crew neck, put pants, right? So then when we edit it, right, I could just simply look up T. All of my t-shirts will come up, right? Then when that happens, I'll click this right here. I'll click actions and I'll click, actually no, I'll click edit variants. And from there, it's going to open up all of the prices. Now, I have so many shirts and it's going to show every single variant. So it goes on about, I think, like 30 pages. I think I went through, that's what this is up here. I think about 30 pages. So obviously this could be very time consuming if you're clicking and editing and clicking and editing. Even if you're copying and pasting, this could take so much time. And pretty much if you guys don't know what this is, compare at price. This is pretty much going to be the discounted price on the left. And this will be the price that they show them, um, pretty much showing them what the discount is. Right, so on the left side, I made these camo shirts $27. Maybe a little bit overpriced, I'll rethink it, I don't know, I'll see how it goes. But look, what you'll do is, if, you're, if you have Mac, you'll click Command and the down arrow key. You see how it's highlighting everything? Now this is something that I haven't seen everybody do. What people have been telling me to do is click this, copy it, right? copy and then you know paste 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 imagine how long that's gonna take if I have 30 pages so simply all you have to do is click the top one click command if you have a Mac if you have a Windows click control so on a Mac which I have I'll click command and then I'll hit the down, down arrow key I'll wait till everything on the left side here is highlighted and then I'll just simply put 27 right and it'll write it in there same thing goes for the right side click the bottom command up and I'll just hold it down until it goes all the way to the top now if you guys get confused just simply rewatch this video um, pause go back whatever you need to do now to open up all the pages if you want to do this the fastest way possible now simply right click this if you have a Mac just use two fingers open link and new tab right open the link and new tab it's gonna bring you to the next page right brings you to the next page you do the same thing open link a new tab. The quicker way to do this is you hit, if you're on a Mac, you hit command and then you click it and it'll open it uh, in a new tab. Or if you're on a Windows, you hit control and click it and it'll open in a new tab. So you just do that over and over and over again until you see this. One second. All right, until you see this, you can no longer click this arrow right here. All right, so that means you're at the end. And then go page to page, command, up, All right? and edit the price All right, and then same thing for the right side you'll do that on every single page you'll click save do not close out the page listen to what I'm saying because it's very important I'll show you right now and demonstrate don't close out the page until everything is saved this is very important because if you close out the page before everything's saved it's pretty you pretty much wasted time All right, so I'll put this and then I'll click save now watch what happens here on the left side you see the circle, you see the check, you have to wait until everything is checked. So keep these tabs open, and the reason why I'm doing this so fast, the way that I'm doing it so fast is I'll click save, and then instead of waiting for them all to finish, boom, I have it opened up in the next page, right? I have the next tab open. And I'll do it on this one, click save. Do it on this one, click save. Do it on this one, click save. And then everything is happening in the background, and I'm getting like 20 to 30 pages done all at once, right? And... I'm sure a lot of people didn't even know this trick and wound up spending, you know, eight hours instead of four hours or, you know, 
five hours instead of two hours. So I hope this guy this uh, saved you some time. Um, if I should add anything else, right? If we go back, all right. One more thing, I guess. So we'll go back to here, and we'll go back to inventory. Now, if you're selling jewelry and you're selling watches, you'll go to, you'll type in watches, right? You'll search that. You'll open all this up. I'm not selling watches, so you're not going to see any watches. If you're selling jewelry, you do watches, you'll do your necklaces, you'll do your bracelets, you'll do your, you know, your socks, whatever the case is. If you're selling accessories, you'll look everything up and you'll just do this for every single category. Obviously, it's very time consuming, but um, it's not going to be as time consuming as it was before. Hope I helped you guys out. Um, definitely helped me. Everybody, uh, you know, subscribe, drop some likes. I'm going to be dropping tips and stuff for drop shipping as well um, in my journey from the beginning to the end.